This video is about modular arithmetic, uh, and it has to do with remainders when we divide uh, integers by some other integers. So I'm going to give an example first, and then give the uh, the exact definitions and general definitions afterwards. So first, I'm going to divide all of these integers on this uh, number line uh, by three and see uh, what the remainders are. So 0 divided by 3 is 0, 1 divided by 3 uh, gives a remainder of 1, and then a remainder of 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1 with 0 remainder, 4 divided by 3 is uh, 1 with 1 as remainder, and so on. And you see that the remainders occur periodically, also for the negative numbers. Minus 1, well, that's minus 3 times 1 plus 2. So it has a remainder of 2 when divided by 3. Minus 2 is minus 3 plus 1. So it has a remainder of 1. And minus 3 divided by 3 is integer. So that's minus 3. And then you have a remainder of 2 again for minus 4. So all of the integers which uh, have the same remainders when divided by 3 are said to be congruent modulo 3. So for instance, 4, minus 1, 2, 5, 8 and 11 and all of the rest when we just continue the number line, extend it in both directions. All of them are said to be congruent modulo 3 because they have the same remainder when divided by 3. The same is true for 1 and 4 and 7 and 10. They are also said to be congruent modulo 3. Uh, the notation is as follows. We write, for instance, 2 is congruent 5 and then the parenthesis mod 3. So uh, this number 3 is called the modulus in this setting. And it's also true that uh, 6 is congruent 9 mod 3. So the reason these are true is that the difference 5 minus 2, that's 3. So they, uh, the difference is divisible by 3. So whenever you take two numbers and take the difference, for instance 8 and minus 1, well the difference is 9. So it's an integer number of steps of length 3. Then those numbers are congruent. So two numbers are congruent modulo 3 if there is an integer number of steps of length 3 between them on the number line. In general, A is said to be congruent B mod n, that is equivalent to n dividing the difference b minus a. So let's give a few other examples. For instance, is 15 is congruent 8 mod 7, because the difference 8 minus 15 is negative 7 and is divisible by 7. However, 15 is not congruent 8 mod 4 because the difference is still negative 7 and that's not divisible by 4. So the next videos in this uh, series will cover the basic properties of uh, the modular relation and uh, see what we're allowed to do due to them, how we can manipulate them, and how we can solve what's called linear congruences.